The installation process is almost done. Okay, here you go. It has a brand new look of Windows 11. You can see I successfully installed the new Windows 11 on my computer. And uh, here I will show you the couple tricks and tweaks how we can install this window. It's pretty cool. I especially like uh, the background of this window. You can Microsoft has released a new look, a fresh look of brand new Windows 11. Even though it's not officially available to download for the consumers, I will show you how to install the brand new Windows 11 here on this video. If you go on to the Microsoft official website and in the news section, they said Windows 11 is not here yet. It's not available to download. You won't be able to download through the updates or you cannot download from the official website. But there are a couple ways you still be able to get the Windows 11 and uh, take a look of its a new fresh look. And uh, I will show you what we need here to download and install the Windows 11 and uh, please continue watch this uh, video so the first of all you need a USB thumb drive should be 8 gigabyte or bigger than that and the Windows 11 ISO file I will show you from where to download this uh, ISO file later in the video and the third thing we need a internet connection obviously to download the ISO file and then we need a third party application Rufus to make a bootable USB drive so once you have all this stuff I got all this stuff now in the next section of the video we go ahead and make a bootable Windows 11 USB drive and from that USB drive, we will install the Windows 11. Okay, so for, for this one, first of all, we need a third party app to make a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 that called Rufus. You can go to Google, download Rufus. That's the first link click here and here is a Rufus 3.14 and once it's download I have installed already run this one at this point connect your USB flash drive to your computer I have a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive and the uh, boot selected here is a Windows 11. We have ISO file here, disk image file. I will let you know at the end of the video from where you can download this uh, file. So here, what you need to do, press select, give the location to this folder, press open here don't need to change anything here leave it at GPT EFI here you can label as Windows 11 and then press start all data will be removed you need a 8 gigabyte or bigger USB flash drive and make sure there is no data on it because it will format the whole USB drive and write uh, make it a bootable Windows 11 this so press OK
okay here you can see it has been done so now we have a windows 11 bootable usb drive okay guys in the previous step we made one usb bootable usb for windows 11 now i will put in my laptop and uh, start the installation process so let's do it so i will plug that usb drive in my laptop here data travel this one is our flash drive we click the second option and here is the windows 11 logo boom so it's asking us choose the language we'll stay here united states we'll install now it's pretty much same as uh, the Windows 10 so far. In Windows 10, they, it will also ask you to uh, select the language. It's a user agreement. Uh, we should read this one, but uh, I know no one would like to spend uh, that much time. So press next. And uh, because this one is my clean and fresh install, so I will go to the custom install if it's a upgrade from windows 10 you just can click here and it will upgrade your previous window but okay here is my 500 gigabyte hard drive press next okay here you go here it comes the brand new windows 11 is this the right country or region united states no i am in canada so let's scroll up and select canada is this the right keyboard layout yes us keyboard Okay, let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, let me connect to the Wi-Fi. How would you like to set up this device? Okay, so this is the same thing what we used to get the, on the Windows 10. Either you are going to join a domain or set up a personal use. So I am going to select a personal use. So in Windows 10 you used to get skip option but it uh, looks like you are not getting a skip option so you have to create a pin so okay press okay okay let's Microsoft and apps use your look okay so let's customize your experience so do you want to use this for gaming creativity family schoolwork entertainment and the business checking for updates usually on windows 10 we have seen this will take a lot of time Windows 11 welcome okay here you go this is a brand new look of Windows 11 you can see I successfully installed the new Windows 11 on my computer and uh, here I will show you the couple tricks and tweaks how we can install this window it's pretty cool I especially like uh, the background of this window here you can choose the different themes uh, windows 11 light mode here is the uh, dark mode 
you can see you can open your my documents it's pretty much the same you can see the left hand side uh, except the icon uh, all the icon has been changed but the navigation window is uh, almost the same and uh, this new bar in the middle so you can see uh, in Windows 10 you had here the the search what it called Cortana so now they made um, this search like a magnifying glass icon so to click the search it is the other if you want to add a second desktop you can add this for example you open the some stuff in one desktop you can add go to the second is totally the hidden yes uh, i will create another video with all the features that you get with the windows 11 so far this video was only to show you how the first look someone from the microsoft some some inside engineer has a leak this uh, windows 11 in outside so so far you are not receiving any update on this one because it's not officially launched from the windows uh, i went through about like uh, 40 different forums to get this uh, copy of the windows this um, if i got at least the 500 likes uh, i might can um, uh, upload this uh, windows 11 onto my google drive and uh, share a link in my next video i don't suggest to install this windows at this point because uh, it's kind of like a developer version uh, you are not going to get any update on this one because it's not officially launched i will create a another video for this windows 11 so until then please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, i will catch you up in the next useful video until then bye bye